the first and most important feature of this saw is its safety features. It does sport a large paddle switch to turn the saw on and off and actually spin up the blade. And it also has another switch which is used to power up the computer, which will bring the saw up to code and get us ready for our cuts. So if we flip the on off switch, essentially what we'll get is a couple blinking lights. Uh, one at the top indicating power status, and one at the bottom which will flash red until the saw is ready to use. On the side of the saw is a chart which indicates all the functions of these two lights. The large paddle switch would actually allow us, if we need to, bump this paddle with our knee. Once showing a green status, the saw is ready to use. Now the paddle switch will operate the saw and spin up the blade. green light will indicate the blade is still spinning. Above this we do have a bypass function which when we depress it will allow us to put it in bypass mode um, for many reasons. If, if we're cutting a conductive material as well as um, just checking the moisture content of the piece we're cutting um, we'll actually get the indicator lights to light up and tell us whether it's conductive or non-conductive material and then proceed either in the bypass mode or with the safety all enabled.